Hello party people! Welcome to another week of school lunches. This week I have something special planned. I don't think last week, oh yeah, last week was space theme, which was whatever. This week it's gonna be amazing, or at least in my head it is. Okay, so I'm emulating uh, school lunches this week. That sounds weird, but like at school, do you know what I mean? Like if you were to purchase a lunch at my kid's school, because Avelina, comes home and just raves about how amazing school lunch is and how she needs it every day in her life. So I have decided to give her just that, but homemade because I don't know if you know this, some of you do, at her school they charge $6.50 per day <laughs> for lunch. Um, it is a private school so obviously that's why it's more expensive and obviously that's why I pack lunches at home. So. This is what's on their menu. I'm going directly off of their school menu this week. And sometimes, guys, I looked at the menu. They've got some really crazy things, like filet mignon. I'm not even kidding. What else do they have? They have Greek lemon chicken. To me, that's fancy. You might just be like, yeah, whatever. Hold on, what else? They have like salmon some days. Like, guys, it's, <laughs> it's, it's definitely worth the 650, and you do get a discount when you pay for more than a day. Anyway, moving on, this is what I packed. You probably already know what's happening. Grilled cheese sandwiches, um, tomato soup so they can dip it in, which my kids have never had, so this will be an extra treat for them. And I went with the super fancy uh, Campbell's Well Yes. Is that supposed to be a take on wellness? Okay, it is the tomato and basil sipping soup and I guess they call it that because it comes in this little nifty container where you can just heat it up and sip it. Anyway, they're obviously not gonna do that because I just separated it between the two of them. So hopefully they enjoy that. And then zucchini was on the menu. So I just cut some zucchini up. And this is a hot lunch, but they do have microwaves that they are able to pop this into uh, after, during, you know, during lunchtime. And then uh, their school lunch also comes with fresh fruit every day, which I'm not sure what they're having. Normally they have a selection, but my kids are getting apples, and then, of course, a granola bar for snack time that they have uh, earlier before lunch. Okay, so, uh, one more thing before I leave you this day. I um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been jumping around to different containers, because I have these, the Cat and Jack ones from Target, I have the Yum Boxes, and then I have the Rubbermaid. I jump around and I use whatever. I also have Sistema and all that stuff. Would you guys let me know if you guys would like a standalone video of me just showing you and giving you my opinion on each uh, system on each box, lunch boxes. Let me know, and I'll probably do that for you. Okay, so this is day one. Okay, let's see how they did. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little nervous about this soup, guys. I gave them special instructions not to like be too crazy with it because obviously it's soup. And these aren't, these containers aren't like leak proof. I mean, they have that silicone thing, but let's be. Ooh, it held up pretty well. Uh, and it looks like they ate enough. So that makes me happy. And here's little Eleanor's. Let's see. Yay! I'm not gonna lie, this soup does not smell good. Okay. Okay, day two. And here's what's on the menu. We've got some chicken strips. I just, they're frozen there from Costco. I get like the humongous bag. I also have sweet potato fries. That is on the menu. Uh, my kids are hit or miss with these, especially since uh, they're going to school. Oh, and some of you were like, oh, those still look frozen. Yes, I will cook them in the morning and then send them on their way. Uh, same with these, but I'm just gonna wrap these in tin foil to make sure that they stay crispy. I don't know if they actually will. But I got these from Trader Joe's, they're sweet potato fries, and they look pretty good, am I wrong? And then some corn, sweet corn. I was gonna get the cobs, but I figure it's easier for them to eat. I just threw in a spoon, a spoon for them an orange for each of them, and then for their snack, I'm throwing in a Lara bar. This one is almond butter chocolate chip, love this one. And then for Avelina, she's got her normal coconut cream pie. Alrighty then, let's see what they ate. Ooh, they feel light, which is always a nice feeling. This one is Eleanor's, hey, hey, look at this sweet, well the sweet potatoes look pretty gross, but overall that's pretty good. You good eating, and then this day, hey, good for her. All right, moving on to tomorrow. Okay, finally, this day is done. I feel like it took me forever. I made it all on my own, and I'm starting to question whether it's worth it, saving $6.50, but really I would save like $13, so okay, okay, even if this took me an hour, it's totally worth it because $13 for lunch, a uh, good God. Okay, 
So I made these cookies first and foremost. It's pizza and cookie day at uh, their school tomorrow. It's every Wednesday. Uh, solid pizza and cookie day. So I made these. I didn't feel like making cookies from scratch So I saw what I had in my pantry and I found this stuff. It's chocolate chip muffin and quick bread mix Apparently if you just take this add uh, the butter so it said a quarter cup of butter I added a little more and then one egg and that seemed to do the trick and they look pretty darn delightful If you ask me so I'm adding one of those and then these pizzas I cooked them I don't know what I'm thinking. I wasted my time because I'm just going to have to heat them up in the morning. But this is what they are. Uh, they're from Costco. They come in a humongous pack. And then I'm packing a salad, which my kids have started to really enjoy lately. Uh, but only with cucumbers, so <laughs> whatever. Um, and Avelina likes ranch and Eleanor likes Italian dressing. But they have dressings. Um, I made sure and I asked my kids if they could take them. Uh, like from the school and they just supply them and they leave them out and it's okay if they take some so instead of packing like a little container which I could do I have plenty of those anyway they wanted to grab their own which I don't care you know what I mean and then I'm packing I'm trying to go through uh, my pantry and just get rid of some of the bars that you know are the lonely old bar so this is an RX bar uh, peanuts and dates what flavor is this peanut butter chocolate and then this is from Costco it's the fruit leather bar and then Eleanor is getting the peanut and date oh it's the same kind of thing but that's an RX bar and this is from Trader Joe's and then the fruit leather bar for her so oh my gosh long-winded way of saying well even more long-winded I almost made muffins <laughs> out of these but then I didn't want to deviate from the plan oh, oh by the way I made um, well, this has nothing to do with pizza, but maybe you're wondering, hmm, I really like cookie dough, which I do. I love cookie dough. Maybe I can make protein powder cookie dough, a little healthy, a little less guilt. Um, no, don't try it because I made it the other day and can I tell you it was a huge fail. It was disgusting. So if you have protein powder, use it in other things. Do not try to make cookie dough out of it. You will regret your decision. Or maybe you won't, but I definitely did. Hey, cookie. That's how Wentworth says cookie. It's so cute because it sounds so fancy. Cookie. All right. Got their lunches again. Uh, this one's Avelina's. I mean, Eleanor's. Whatever. Who cares? And then they feel light. Way to go, children. Who are these people? <laughs> Looks like someone doesn't like the crust. All right. Moving on. Is tomorrow Friday? No. Eh. Okay, dogs, here is the menu for tomorrow, which is Thursday. Oh my gosh, I have rice on my foot, which, by the way, huh, so much fun waiting 20 minutes for this rice to cook. So you know what we're having for dinner, this, just in case you didn't know that this is what we're having for dinner, <laughs> um, except for in their lunches, I packed peppers. Uh, just they're just raw peppers. That's how if you if you've been around for a while, you know Avelina used to be obsessed with peppers and then I stopped packing them because I got comments like Ugh, Peppers and pretz whatever uh, But I'm gonna start packing them again because why not? Uh, anyway, but for dinner I cooked them with some onions delish and then these are chicken fajitas Pretty basic and then yellow rice Delicious. I can't tell you the last time I've had yellow rice, so I'm real pumped pimped. I'm real pumped about that I also threw in a granola bar for each of them just for snack and then some orange slices It's half an orange, but I think that's enough because they don't get that much time to eat and these uh, lesser lunches They're doing a little better with them. So happy about it. Happy about it. And that's what's All right for They're going out the door on their way to somewhere fun. So let me get through this um, This is Oh my gosh, so much is going on. So it looks like uh, they love oranges. This one, looks like one is untouched, but other than that, they look good. This feels real light. Oh, what? Oh, was this Eleanor's? This was Eleanor's. So, eh, it happens. Some days are better than others. Tomorrow's Friday. Ayo! Okay, finally, finally, it is Friday, the end of the week. So this is what's on the menu. Oh crud, I didn't even finish packing. Whatever, it's the end of the week. I'll tell you guys instead of showing you. I'm just gonna pack a bag of grapes and then probably a granola bar from Costco. Do you need to see it? You don't need to see it. You trust me, right? Okay, so hot dogs on the menu. Also, baked beans and waffle fries, which I swear I swear to you, can you trust me on this one too, that I bought them. I bought waffle fries. I can't find them anywhere. 
I literally have spent way, 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 way too much time looking for waffle fries in my freezer, in my fridge, in the garbage. Where are they? In a bag somewhere? In my trunk? Nope. Nowhere. I don't know where they are. I know I brought them home. Or at least I think I did. I don't know what happened to them. So instead, they're getting some fries from my freezer. Normal looking fries. Not waffle fries, but that's okay. Life goes on, right? I bet you I'm going to find them like tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, um, in the morning, I'm just going to heat all this up. Probably put the fries in tin foil that seemed to work out okay uh, with the sweet potato fries. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to bag some grapes. They're red, red grapes. Does that matter to you? No? Okay. All right, you guessed it. It's Sunday. Yeah. The Bucks game is on. He said yay. Oh, wait, there's a, ugh, some leftovers. Um, the Bucks are not winning. I should mention that. Oh, some grapes that weren't oh, eaten. Good, That's okay. Good luck, oh, my gosh. Okay, so Alex thinks he's so clever and has this hat on. It's for his Halloween costume. He's gonna be anger. Are you excited about that shirt? I got him two Bucks shirts. Makes him hate. Oh geez. Okay. He's being a. He's being a real. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys happy that I, I caught that again? Okay. So, the Bucks are losing. Did I say that? He's an official fan. We pretty much watch football now. We we weren't that family, but now we are. Uh, they're playing the Falcons. And french fries are good. You know what I want to say about the hot lunches? It was like I had to make lunches twice. Because I had to make them at night. Well, I guess I couldn't. I didn't have to do that, but I just wanted to have them prepared. And then in the morning, I would have to spend all the time heating them up and all that jazz. So, uh, it's kind of like double time. You know what I mean? Double, even though. Triple. Anyway, uh, that was that. That's my review on hot lunches. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some ideas, maybe, if anything else. And I will see you next time. Bye.